Hey Jamrin developers, this is Jamrin guys. So 33rd tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating switches like this. This is my on switch. This is my off switch. Both of them can be on as well as both of them can be off. So in order to create such type of project, we have to go to file, then new, and then project. Then select cross platform app as we are creating for both Android as well as iOS and give it a name as table view sample and click on OK. Then you can select a shared as well as a portable class library project. In this project, we will be basically talking about root project rather than project that are targeting both Android as well as iOS. So I will be minimizing them. Here code behind of app.cs contains our placeholder that is our main page that will be started from our switch cell demo XAML. This is our page that will be loaded at first. So in order to create such page, you have to go to new and then select Xamarin forms and then select content page and then give a name as switch cell demo. Now let us design our switch cell demo page by giving it as content page dot content. I will be placing some content inside my content page that is our table view and horizontal option as center and vertical option as center that is our table will be represented inside our UI design at centered position then table root will contain our table switch that is our switch cell then I'll give it a text as on and I'll create another switch cell then I'll give as off and its default value will be true for on text and its default value will be false for my second switch cell that's all now let us compile and run our project before doing that let us create a background image as mary.jpg that will be placed inside my resources folder of drawable project of both android and ios now let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not okay it's being debugging it's being ready okay we got our expected output that is our default value for on is true and our default value for off switch is false that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials